Right, it's gonna suck back in. We've got a little bit. That's right down in the corner. Sorry. Right, let's see. Are you that. making a video right now? Yeah, you're fine. Good boy. So one thing I get asked about probably more than anything is how to make the uh, straight wall system work. First thing you're going to need to consider is building up this platform. It may seem really high but that's mainly because this greenhouse is so out of level that we had to build this wall. You want to be about two and a half to three feet up off the base of your hoops and you'll set your axle bracket or axle brackets depending on the size of your greenhouse up on top of here. Next you'll need to find that magic point of how long your one inch EMT and your one and three eighths inch EMT need to be cut to for your particular greenhouse and your situation. In this case we found seven feet to work out really well for both pieces. What you'll see here, once we mount this bad boy in, it'll telescope out to our farthest reaching points. Let me stick this bolt in real quick. Bend out. And now, as we go up, it'll still reach to there. And then it'll sink down as we go over the top. It'll come on down. Okay, you're on. We'll attach our motor to this 10.5. And this little bolt and nut come in the box with your motor and this just mounts right through there and you'll notice the motor can adjust itself a little bit that's totally fine and actually helps things okay now you'll notice in the box with your motors you'll have two cups one of them has one hole on the back side that's threaded. The other one has two holes unthreaded. This is for a pen system. You won't be needing this one. This is the one you're after. This just attaches right over the shaft and you have the little set screw. It goes right down there into the shaft. So wiring your panel up is really easy. You're just going to run your motor A and your motor B in. It's all well labeled here on the panel. If you have a blue and brown wire then blue will be your positive, brown will be your negative. And if you have this backwards, it's no big deal. Your motor will just turn the opposite direction. Okay. So we have zeroed out our motors. You see the green dial is all the way to the stop on zero. So now I can go ahead and drill out my holes. And put in our set bolt. Before we roll this up for our first time, we're going to want to make sure that we set our dials far enough that we'll actually be able to see what's going to happen. So our up dials, I'm going to set this all the way up to almost 
up to 30. So this will make 30 rotations before it stops on its own, which means I'm going to need to stop it myself. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it roll up and as soon as we come to a point where part of the roll up is going to be hitting the center ridge beam, we're going to stop it down here just by pressing the down on our controller. As we start rolling for the first time, we want to be extra careful to keep an eye on both sides of the greenhouse. We want to look for any spots that it's going to get hung up on or anything we may have missed along the way. So as you can see, our first roll is anything but perfect. Over on this side, we got a major hump about midway. We'll fix that by putting a crease in it. On this side, we're almost decent, but our motor end is touching way early. So what we'll do there is we'll try to pull any slack that we have on the motor side horizontally. And I'll show you how to do that now.